What is up guys, Bored Ape NFT here, and today, this may be the final video that I do against Emoji Marbles. This is a part 2 to episode 3 of BDS Rant House, so thankfully I won't be covering his content, but I will be giving the Cliff Notes version of what his content is about. His commentaries. Emoji Marbles has made a total of over 200 commentaries at the time of recording this video. His downward spiral does not begin until commentary number 219. When Jupiter AUTTP's second channel tells him that he supports criminals, Emoji Marbles agrees with him, which any sane person would probably think otherwise. Most sane people would believe that those people should not be welcomed back into society with open arms, but it only gets worse than that. Emoji Marbles also commentates on people that he despises, which those same commentaries are just as hilariously bad, and in some of those commentaries, he uses reaction clips to mostly dodge criticism. The channels that he absolutely despises are sticks must be consumed, what are you doing here? This is good, Mr. Newbist returns, and hell, throw Science Sky 722 into the bus as well. But there is way more than what we have covered here. His call out posts. Emoji Marbles uses his call out posts to weaponize his fan base to attack users that he absolutely despises, mostly including Sticks Must Be Consumed and Science Guy 722. Speaking of which, I'll go ahead and show you some actual clips of those call out posts against said users. <laughs> Oh my god Anaconda Hacks plays. Why did you put a hashtag that says Nuke USA? You kind of get the point here, as most of these call out posts are basically the same thing over and over again. The fans are too brain dead and retarded and they end up attacking said users. His overall content is complete dog shit as he posts way too freaking much that make users like Elias D and EDP445 better in comparison. I know both users that I mentioned are horrible users, but Emoji Marbles is just as bad as EDP445, but not as bad as Elias D because he improved his actions a lot. His new series. His cringe commentaries series further proves he cannot handle any ounce of criticism made against him, and it was outright horrible. I get the fact that we should let other people speak their own opinion as I get that, but this is the example where idiots like him should be silenced and taken out Goro Akechi style, with a suppressed pistol and never to be seen ever again. His fans, most notably Foxy the Fox 110. Foxy the Fox 110, as well as his fans, by fans I mean Emoji Marbles' his fans, cannot handle any ounce of godforsaken criticism because dissing their favorite YouTuber is like angering a bunch of flesh-eating zombies from World War Z, where they will literally will terrorize you. Speaking of Foxy the Fox 110, she has made at least three commentaries against me that hurt her widow feelings. Literally go outside and get a breath of fresh air, you will feel a million times better doing so. Conclusion Emoji Marbles' content is not really good, and his fan base is toxic enough compared to Leafy is here. Yes, I am comparing a YouTuber who is very toxic back in the day. In conclusion, I would rate his content actually being a negative 1 trillion out of 10, because of how bad it is. This is Omega, signing off. Have a good one, and as usual, Stay frosty.